Hi YouTube, this is Felicia with Bible Scraps and welcome back to another My Greatest Craft Find video. Now I have done several of these videos and it's all about me sharing an item I found in the store or on eBay, something that I consider to be great. Now this video is a little different however because though I purchased this item, it was actually lost and lost for a couple of years. But now it's found. All right, so have you done that? Have you lost something and then found it? Or perhaps you never found it? Well, let me tell you, I lost a precious craft item. And for the last couple of years, I have been on a hunt to find this item. Now, before I go any further, I will have a playlist to all of my greatest craft videos if you are interested in watching those videos. But you guys, this item here, I tore up my house, my craft room, my brain could not rest. Have you lost something so important like that? You know, this experience reminds me of several parables, in particular one parable in the Bible that I have to make reference to. And it's the parable that Jesus spoke of the lost coin. A woman, right, had 10 coins and lost one. And the Bible states that she, well, and I'm going to, you know, exaggerate and add to it and kind of give you an idea of what I did. <laughs> the woman, I turned on every light in my house. I swept my entire, okay, not entire house, but you know, a large portion of my house clean and searched carefully for this one item that I lost. And you know what? I did that over and over and over again. I don't know how many times I did that since I realized this item was lost. What could it be, right? Well, I'll share you what it is after I finish my story because my greatest craft find, it's all about the story. Okay, so I been on this hunt. When I realized this item was lost, I immediately went back to what I thought I was doing last. I searched every corner, searched under every table. I even got in my garage, right, and searched through boxes looking for this one particular item. I also went online to see if I could purchase this item again. I didn't know it came in a collection and I didn't know the name of the collection. And then I found a picture of it, not the actual item, but just one picture. And that was from the UK. I mean, I searched and searched and searched and I could not find this item. And let me tell you, it did stress me out. <laughs> So a couple weeks ago, I had the urge because all of a sudden I would just get this nagging urge to look for this item. So I last had that a couple weeks ago. Went to all my usual spots looking for the item in boxes in the garage and my scrapbooking cases and different bins and I couldn't find it. And then I resolved. I said, Felicia, you have to give up on this hunt. You have to resolve that you will not find what you have lost. Perhaps you accidentally threw it away. Have you done that before? As a matter of fact, I threw away a whole, a new bag full of beads. Okay, the whole bag. And it had other items in it too. So I thought perhaps I threw it away. I was so close to resolving that I would never find it. And then I decided, you know, let me look behind this desk here. Let me look behind this desk one more time. Now this desk is big and it's heavy and it's flush up against my window. So you really can't see much behind the desk. There is a small corner on, you know, beneath up against the back, 
but it's so flush up against the wall you really can't see behind it so what I decided to do was take a ruler and push what I can't see but push it out now before I did that I had went back to Google to look to see if I could find this item online what I did come across was a well you know what I actually found a picture this time but then I realized what I saw online was a color a different color than what I thought I had and I'm like well that's strange so I've been looking for something that's possibly the wrong color so anyway I took a ruler and began to push the things that were in back of the desk out now mind you every time I have searched for this lost item I've done that before right this time I pushed some items out and saw a glimpse of something that appeared to be the same color of what I saw online and my heart started racing I thought could this be what was lost could this be my precious lost craft item so with great glee and excitement I hurry up and pushed it out and grabbed it and lo and behold what was lost was now found so I am so ready to show you guys what I found now first let me say right before I found it at that very second when I was so close to telling myself I lost it and I'll never find it I told the Lord I said Lord but I have to find this item. it represents me Lord out of everything I could lose in my craft room not this are you ready to see what it is and some of you may think oh it's so insignificant but you know what what's small to others can be big to others and this is big to me this little die by Ellison <laughs> it's green and it's the Bible this die had been lost for months you guys and just like that woman in the parable that Jesus talked about when she found that coin she called all of her friends all of her family together to celebrate well that's what I'm doing right now I am calling all of you guys together to celebrate that what was lost has been found check out the cutest die cuts to be made with this little precious die absolutely love it I am so grateful that I didn't throw it away right so grateful that the Lord bless me after all of these months to find this die now if you are interested in this die well it's been discontinued however you know you could find it on eBay if you look at the right time it came in a collection of four dies the other die which I think is a dove is in the garage but it has the Bible of course it has the cross and it has praying hands now you see why I needed to find this die it's a Bible my YouTube name is Bible scraps I couldn't lose this one though I am sharing something that's materialistic you know there's always a greater message and my message to you all is don't give up on what is lost no matter what it is this die was closer to me than I ever knew as a matter of fact if my arms were a little bit longer I could have reached and grabbed it I had no idea it was so still close to me trust God trust God that whatever is lost in your life no matter what it is that it can be found again and even in it being lost it's still kept by God just like my die was and I leave you with this thought if you want to cause a stir in heaven if you want the angels to rejoice 
like it's nobody's business. I know Prince said, party like it's 1999, but let me tell you, Prince and those who love that song and who have partied to that song don't know what a party is until, because the Bible states, the angels rejoice over one person that repents more so than over 99 who don't need repentance. If you want to be the recipient, if you want to be the honoree of a party like it's nobody's business, turn yourself back to God. Be found again of his love, of his grace, of his protection, of his forgiveness. Now, if you would like to win an assortment of the Bible die cuts, also of the cross and the praying hands, I want to thank you all for celebrating with me. If you have a story of something that was lost that you found, please share it in the comments Well, below. I want to thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like this video and also don't forget to subscribe. Blessings!